Hi guys, welcome back. Impromptu day off after uh, my little one's sports day. Um, and uh, I'm just going for a chilled out gentle ride um, from Luton Parkway. Um, going along there, I might go to Wheat Amsterdam and then come back and then get to Hemel. Not sure yet. Uh, and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Um, it's been a little while since I've actually talked to the camera, so I thought I'd better do that as well. It's been a while, just haven't been feeling it, I suppose. Um, uh, you might know as well, or look at this, I'm, I'm currently using my, or trying to use my iPhone 13 Pro uh, for a bit of filming. My 360 has now Oh, has now arrived in Hong Kong. Um, we'll see if I actually get it back. Um, the lens has cracked on it again because they're just blimmin' ridiculous for their uh, things cracking. Not a bad view, to be honest. Um, and, um, yeah. So I, uh, I, I can't do my normal 360 footage. Uh, which is a shame because I quite like doing that but I thought I'd uh, try and use this I don't know how successful it's going to be um, we'll give it a go I've got the drone with me as well so we're possibly going to take that up it's meant to rain at three so I'm hoping that I can uh, get around and do a bit of riding first when um, so we'll see how we go um, it's, I'm not sure what, what this is going to be like for going over bumps, so we'll see how we go anyway. Cheers, mate. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, like I said, a bit of a leisurely one. Going to do a little bit more seated riding. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So let's, let's try that. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can really see that very well, um, but I'm squatting. <laughs> um, it's not too bad. I'm getting, I'm getting more used to it. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to take it easy doing it today though, because I'm um, trying to film and do this probably a little bit tricky. Because, like the 360, you you forget how light that is on the end of a uh, on the end of the uh, on the end of the pole. So. Um, it's uh, this one's the, the iPhone and then like the mic set up and stuff on the end is a little bit more weighty um, and um, I don't think like the you know making sure the footage uh, and my voice bounces around what are cows let's do those um, how yeah we'll, we'll see how how this is going to come out Might be fine, might not be, but we'll see. Whilst my phone is in a case, don't particularly want to drop it. <laughs> not the cheapest to replace. So we'll, like I said, we'll see how we go. I've also got, as you can see, I've got my um, Osmo, DJI Osmo action cam. So we'll use a bit of that as well. Mix it all together. Oh yeah. My cyclist say hello back all good um, but yeah but we'll see so with this what I might do as well I might use the action cam and then maybe just use this when I'm stationary because I can imagine like like you guys that use the gimbals and the and the big cameras and stuff they're a weight to carry around um, so if there's any better ideas for maybe an iPhone type thing um, or holder that's better than just I'm just using the 360 um, camera pole um, which has got like a tripod and stuff 
So if there's anything better than that you can recommend out there, let me know, just while I'm waiting for my 360 come, to come back. Um, but yeah, so the it's all pathed. Well, I think mo a lot of it that I'm going at the moment is pathed. Um, so it's about, I don't know, about three, three odd miles, three or four miles to Harpenden. So those with the, uh, uh, that have been watching the channel and uh, know of the the Nikki line um, that we done years ago with Lee Wright and Tim and Tom and Co. Um, this goes this goes to Harfinden and where you can either go one or two ways. You can either carry on and go to Wheat Hampstead, which we done on our uh, the the Gamble route, um, or um, you can go up the road and basically go down some stairs and you're on to the Nikki line, which takes you all the way to Hemel. So the Hemel run is about eight miles, and uh, the Wheat Hampstead run is about another three or four. And um, that, um, then you go through, and basically you can carry that all the way through to Welling and and, um, and Hatfield. They, that's when they start turning. When you get to Harbin, it's where they start turning away from kind of paves and, and goes to more not trails, but like um, more rural kind of trails and, and stuff like that. So you know, there's loads of tree roots coming through. So that's always good fun. Um, so what, what can I update you on? I am going to do a review of the Sherman Max. I might do that today um, and use some of this, this footage, depending on how good it is. If not, I'll wait until the 360 camera comes along and I can get better footage, etc., and talk around it. Um, but um, like I said, I've been learning seated riding. So that's coming along. And morning. Um, let's try and get that down again. Over the bumps. So a bit more seated riding. Um, not too fast, to be honest. <laughs> Different way of riding for me, and you know, obviously still learning. So. Um, I think I've managed to get up to about 20 or so on the trails and um, it's getting there, it's, it's, it's certainly easier than it was, I'm just um, finding a way to sort of what I need to do in terms of getting my, my weight forward and you know and, and balance and all that sort of stuff because it is a completely different sort of way of riding. So that's one thing. Um, I'm doing little bits at a time just again to build a bit of my, my muscle up on it as well. Um, because I'm now doing seat riding as well, I've had to take the front pads off. So I have grizzly pads. There's a bit of a corner here. Um, I have grizzly pads. Um, I've put the back ones on because braking was not as responsive or it took a little bit longer than I'd like. So I've put those back on. Wait, that's the road. Ooh. And we're onto a bit more of a, a trail. Still concrete, but a bit more of a trail. Um, yeah, so I've I've taken the front ones off and left the back ones on. Um, the reason is the grizzle pad is just too wide. Uh, for me to get my kind of legs out to, so I can sit down and ride. And literally, as soon as I took the, the, the front one, actually, I took all of them off. Uh, if you looked at the last video, uh, I took all of them off, and it was a hundred times easier. Um, so I now need to figure out what I'm going to do uh, front pad was, and uh, and go from there, because. Some of the rides I'm doing now are, you know, 30 to 50 mile uh, rides where I can, uh, just because I enjoy this so much. Um, and it's a good, you know, it's a touring wheel. I think at some point I might, I may get something else for more fun, you know. Uh, I might take the drought around here actually.
as you can see. Drinks holder as well, and that's my clock pad seat. Mega comfortable. But as you can see, uh, grizzly pad on the back, nothing on the front at the moment. Probably need something thin to just to lean up against. Hi okay, guys, so we are now at the junction where you can either go up the road uh, to the Nicky line and that's uh, about, about eight miles to Hemel. So what I'm going to do first though, I'm going to go straight on and I'm going to go Wee Hampstead, which is about another three miles and I'm going to come back, go up the road, go on the Nicky line. So uh, let's go for an adventure. So uh, here, just in the entrance to Wee Amstead, um, those that done or those that watched the video for the gamble would know that go along here and then eventually you get to a, um, uh, a little road and then and then onto the trail that goes to Welland Hatfield. Um, I'll have a look and see if Lucy Bridge Lane goes anywhere where I need to. If not, I'll go back and then up the hill and then get onto the Nicky line and we'll go on that way. Hi, so uh, we're now down... Oh, stairs. <laughs> Wheeled the Sherman down so that's not too bad powered. Uh, and we're now at the start of the, the Nikki line, so I'm gonna make my way up to Hemel. So we've been about seven miles already. To Hemel is about eight, and then eight back, and then about another five back to the car. So good run. Um, practicing my sitting down, which is great. Um, and yeah, um, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be more of the uh, this sort of cam, I front facing a little bit behind the the, the iPhone stuff is great but it's really heavy to, to hold out in front of you. Maybe I'm a bird Following the seasons This is what I've learned I'm different for a reason Kept the engine on Never stay too long I'm alright, I don't mind Being restless Something in your Just going past Reborn High Street, which is down there, over this cast iron bridge. This is one of the original bridges of the Nikki line. Um, and over the back there is the path next to the road that we rode down from St Albans uh, to here. But I'm going to try and find, see if there's an easier route out of St Albans and along here. So we'll see how that goes. Singing for believers, a song meant to be heard, but never meant for preaching. I don't know where you're gonna head off to, but I know that you'll go where your heart's at. You might cross the sea, what will be? guys so um, at the end of the Nikki line um, so about 14 almost 15 miles done 
and the last part last about two or three miles were paved which is good that's a big change from what it used to be which used to be all kind of rural and muddy and stuff like that so um, that's a uh, that's a big improvement um so i'm gonna head back and maybe take up the drone again um there's some some nice little views further along back the nicky line so i'm gonna try and uh, take some more stuff back up there So as you can see, I'm riding the Veteran Sherman Max. Um, zero issues um, so far. Bought it for me, rides brand new. Awesome wheel, ridiculous torque. And um, a lot of speed. Um, not really been bombing along here though, just like taking it easy. It's quite a nice trail to just chill and, and ride along. Guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 